everybody and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've uploaded a video. I've rebranded this channel. So I'm going back to my roots as some people would say. I am obsessed with Disney. Anyone that knows me knows that I am obsessed with Disney. I mean, I'm wearing a Minnie Mouse jumper right now. I have Mickey earrings on and I have a lot of Disney stuff. Now, I am a huge fan of these kind of like collection tour videos on YouTube where people show certain things in their collection, be it like, I don't know, a Funko collection or a lounge flight collection, stuff like that. And because those are the types of videos I like to watch, I thought I would make that type of video here today. So if you're interested in seeing the Disney plush that I own, then stick around. Obviously, as these kind of videos are, disclaimer, I'm not trying to brag or anything. I just love watching these types of videos and I feel like there aren't enough of them on the internet anymore and I thought I would give my contribution. Yeah, so without much further ado, I'm actually gonna go and collect my plush because I haven't done that yet. So I'm actually gonna start with three plushes. I think they're actually the only three plushes that I have not bought from Disney store slash shop Disney because they have come out of claw machines. Um, so I'll show you those three plushes now. I'm gonna start with my first plush, which is this cute little Grogu. One of my sisters actually won this out of a claw machine um, a couple of years back. And she very kindly won this and gave it to me. So this is, this, is, this is my claw machine Grogu and he's very, very cute. I'm gonna show you two plushes at once because they kind of like go together. And these guys are also out of the claw machine and that's Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. I got these guys a year ago, two years ago maybe now. Um, and I tried getting Eeyore this past Easter when the fair was here and I couldn't get him because he's the one I'm missing. They're kind of like very pastel-y and I really, really like them. And Eeyore's the one I'm missing. They have Pooh, um, Tigger and Eeyore. I'm a huge, huge fan of Winnie the Pooh and I love these guys. I have two and Tigger. I'm kind of making a little pile back here, so I think ever so slowly you'll start seeing like a big pile of plush. Um, yeah. <laughs> the next plush I'm gonna show you is this Baymax. I think I bought this in Shop Disney, uh, in the Disney store. I don't think I ordered him online. I think I bought him in the Disney store. It might have been in Southampton, but I'm not 100% sure, but I think it might have been Southampton Disney Store. Southampton Disney Store. Um, in the UK. I'm not sure if there's a Southampton in America, but I'm talking about the UK. He's very, very cute, and um, he's very, he's got a big belly, he's very big, and if you position his arms the right way, he will actually stand on his own, which I do find very funny. Very, very cute. The pile is growing. My very first Disney store plush is actually Stitch. I got this guy back in, I want to say 2019. It might've been earlier than that. It might've been 17. I know, I've had him for a couple of years. He was my very, very, very first official Disney store plush and yeah, you've, you've just got to have a Stitch plush in your collection. He is very, very cute and I, I, I do love him a lot. He, he is um, very sentimental because he's obviously my first Disney store plush. The next plush I'm going to show you is actually my newest plush and he's also, I think, my biggest. <laughs> um, but he keeps falling over and falling out the bag. So I'm, I'm going to show you him now. And that is the Baymax Small Munchling. I got this as a present for Christmas or birthday last year for my boyfriend because he's so cute. I saw him and I immediately wanted him and he was out of stock for a while on Shop Disney actually. It smells so good. I eat the, all these Munchling plushes, at least the big ones. I'm assuming the small ones smell as well, the ones in the little like mystery bags, but all the big ones definitely um, smell and this guy is extremely cute. Do I want them all? Probably not, but I really, really, really would like the Winnie Pooh one as well. 
but yeah this is a uh, Baymax as a small and oh my god they're so soft they're, they're just like they're so soft I, I love him because he's so soft if I would be scared to like squash him and for him to be like stay like this forever but I do have so slightly have the temptation to just like use him as a cushion because he's that soft yeah Baymax as a small the next plush I have to show you is another Grogu plush. This is the official Shop Disney Grogu. My boyfriend actually got this scent here from America. So this guy's done a little road trip. Um, but yeah, this is this is the Grogu and he's very, very cute. He's just got a load of um, little fuzzies everywhere. But yeah, this is my Grogu from Shop Disney. The next couple of plush I'm just going to show you guys is actually a little collection um, and they are Tsum Tsums. I don't even think Tsum Tsums are a thing anymore. I've not seen Tsum Tsum stuff in forever. But these are, it used to be a case. I don't know if um, I can find a picture anywhere online. If I do, I'll like insert it here. But basically it's the... Um, main six um, in Tsum Tsum form wearing um, like cast member outfits. I'm not sure if it's like specific to a park or something but I mean here's Pluto for instance and he's just got blue with the M and then like a pink collar and these guys all came in a set so we have Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, Goofy and then Pluto. These guys, um, they're the only Zoom Zooms I actually have. I thought I was gonna collect Zoom Zooms, I didn't collect Zoom Zooms. I got these guys though, and they, these guys just chill on my bookshelf. Okay, and the final plush I have to show you guys in the first batch is this. And it's the most adorable thing ever. These guys were actually reduced because these came out in a spring collection like a couple years back. Um, and these guys were reduced they had these guys and then i think oh correct me if i'm wrong but i think it was chip and dale together in raincoats as well and i saw chip and dale in like a reduced bin at the till and one of my sisters was behind me in the till and i was like hey can you check that basket and see if you can find um winnie pooh and piglet because i knew um they had this as well and i really loved it but i just didn't want to buy it from shop disney at the time so I got these guys reduced in um, a Disney store. Uh, originally it would have been 15 pounds or 23 euros. Um, well, it's actually one of the only plushes I still have the tag on. Um, so yeah, originally this guy would have been 15 pounds. I think I got him for half price, so 7.50. I say him, them. Um, but yeah. These are so cute, they are so soft, and what I do actually like about these plushies is that if you really wanted to, you could take their hoods off. Am I going to regret doing this? Probably, because getting Piglet's ears in the raincoat is hard. But, I just, I love the way they look with the hoods and also without, and also, they are so soft. I wish you could like, feel through the camera, but they are so soft, so cute. some Winnie Pooh plushes because I need a bit of Winnie Pooh in my life. I'm gonna try and like fight with Piglet's ears right now to get them back in this raincoat. Okay, done, awesome. Right, I'm gonna go put these guys back on the bookshelf. Well, most, actually I think all of them are on the bookshelf other than the first Winnie Pooh I showed you because he stays in the bed. Um, I'm gonna go put these guys back and then I'm gonna collect all the plushies out of my glass cases and then I'll show you those guys next. I'm back and I've collected all the plush out of the glass cabinet and I'm gonna show them to you. I'm gonna show them to you guys. Um, I have one complete series of plush and I have one standalone plush so I'm gonna show you the standalone first and then I'll show you the main attraction, um, which is not a main attractions collection. That would have been a good play on words, but it's not 
a mini or Mickey's main attraction collection. If you've actually seen one or two videos on this channel, you'll probably know which collection it is. If not, you'll find out in a minute or you've seen it on the thumbnail, possibly if I've put the flush on the thumbnail. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm rambling. Piglet, Piglet. Piglet is from the 2019, 2019? 2019 Disney Wisdoms Collection. This is Piglet. Piglet is very, very cute. Piglet has a scarf that says, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Christopher Robin. Those of you that don't know, the Wisdom Collection came out in 2019 and basically it had, um, each month was like a different movie and it had a plush, pins, and a mug. And a notebook actually as well um, for each month. Decided so because I have this plush um, that I keep the mug corresponding to this plush, which was the April. It says it here, Disney Wisdoms 412. Um, yeah, yeah, this is Piglet. Okay, now we're going to the um, expensive part of the video, I guess. Um, I'm going to show you guys the plush that take up probably the most space in my flat. They are in two different glass cases and that is the Disney Mickey Memories collection from 2018 from Mickey Mouse's 95th birthday. And I guess I'll just show you them in order from January to December and I guess I'll briefly say where I got them from because why not? Um, yeah, but this is January. This guy was the hardest to find. Um, no, this guy we got off, I say we, a, again, gift, um, off eBay. But yeah, originally these guys cost 25 pounds or 38 euros. This is the January, it's very Steamboat Mickey themed. Yeah, this is my January plush. Next we have February, which is very much matching my jumper. This guy was the hardest mouse to find. There are no listings for this guy, none. Like, I searched eBay for months. And I got this guy off eBay and his head is a lot smaller than the rest of them. I'm not really sure why, but that's a thing, and I'm very happy I have him. March, another eBay find. I don't really have much to say about this one, to be honest. I mean, yeah, I think he came from the UK as, as well. He might have actually come from Germany. I'm not even sure. It's another eBay find. Um, you can see that somehow the tail has kind of bled onto his bum a bit but I mean he's sitting like this in a glass case so you can't really see it so it doesn't the mickey pile is starting to grow April the one that started it all if you have possibly seen old videos of mine or if you go back to my channel or go back through my videos on my channel you will find a London haul from 2018 and I bought this guy and the mug. And I was in London when this guy came out and it was a very um, spur of the moment decision. I'd woken up in my hostel relatively early and I didn't really know what to do. And I thought, do you know what? I'm just gonna try. I'm gonna go to the Disney store on Oxford Street and I'm just gonna try. I'm gonna get in line at about quarter past eight, Disney store opens at nine, there was already a line. I'm just gonna try, I'm gonna get in line, either I get it or I don't get it. And I got him and I got the mug and thus started a obsession. <laughs> and since then I've bought a load of Disney merch. Um, so yeah, basically Mickey Memories April is the reason I have so much Disney merch. And it was an experience and the other plush that I actually bought directly in the UK from one of the stores was even more of an experience. Um, but yeah, I went out on a whim, decided very last minute, I'm gonna go to the Disney store and try. This guy came back. I would possibly, 
ever so possibly like to maybe get a second one just because I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up at all but he has like I don't know if a pen kind of ran out or something but he's got like this blue patch here and it was a lot darker and I've tried to like clean it up a bit without damaging the pleather um I mean also just a memory because the one that started it all basically um yeah so this guy actually came from London Oxford Street store then we have May. May is a plush that I bought off eBay but originally must have come from Shanghai or Hong Kong. I don't know if they use different money in Hong Kong than they do in China. Someone educate me but um r and I'm pretty sure is Chinese currency. Um so this guy possibly came from Shanghai but yeah I also got this guy on eBay. He's very cute and I think this guy was the first mouse that I did not buy from the Disney store or shop Disney as in it was the obviously the m m January to March were also not from the Disney store but this was the first one that I bought not officially from Disney because obviously April I started collecting and then May, I couldn't get the mouse because trying to get these guys on release online was manic. Um, and I didn't get him. So I ended up getting him for a relatively good price on eBay, but I'm pretty sure this was the first one that I bought after the fact. June. June has also come from Shanghai, Tokyo. I'm gonna say Shanghai again because RMB is on the tag. This guy I bought from Minka's Disney store, something like that. Um, I got this guy for half price. I got a Mickey Memories for half price. Minka's Disney store is like a Disney front that buys um, Asian Disney merch so they go to the Shanghai Hong Kong Japan either stores and also parks and like buy merch and like sell it um, to the rest of the world and the mid 2019 I want to say um, I was just going through her sale stuff and I saw that this guy she'd obviously bought a lot of stock um, that never actually got bought and this guy was half price so this was the cheapest Mickey I got because all the others I either got for the £25 slash €38 which is what I paid for most of them unless I bought them in the UK um, that price or over but this guy I actually got in a sale which I'm very proud of and yeah he's actually no that's a lie I was about to say he was the last one that I was missing but January was the last one I was missing January was the one that I think a lot of people were missing if they didn't start the collection straight away. But yeah, this guy. Then we have Mickey July. This is the other plush that I got in the UK itself. I stood in the St. David's Centre in Cardiff at six, from six o'clock till nine o'clock. It's the first time I've ever stood for something I was actually on a general family holiday with my parents. I took a Trous Cymru um, train five hours from the north of Wales down to Cardiff the day before. Chilled in Cardiff for a bit, then watched a movie in the evening. I went to see Incredibles 2 actually in the cinema that evening. And then the next morning I woke up at the crack of dawn, um, chucked my hostel card in a box because the receptionist for my hostel was not even there. Also, staying in Cardiff, you want cheap accommodation, Nostar Hostel, stay there, it's amazing. Um, and yeah, went to the Disney store and I stood in line for three hours, chatted a bit with some people and it was the best experience I've ever had. I would do it again, it was amazing. It was just so interesting to, I mean, we're all there for the same thing. We all got this love for Disney other than the people selling them. Um, all got this love for Disney and we were just chatting. I was talking to so many different people in line and it was just 
an amazing experience and I'm glad I did it. This guy came from Cardiff, the only other mouse I bought in the UK. Again, another special place like April, it's connected to memory. It's not just like, obviously it's a collection, it's a collection I've completed, but especially April and this July one are connected to memories that I will definitely cherish. August, the 80s. Um, also, these were themed after the 10s, so January to the, the 1910s, Feb was the 1920s, 30s and so on. We're in August now, 1980s. Very gold Mickey, very... I do like the look of this Mickey a lot, I must say. He's very, very cool looking. Um, this guy I just got off Shop Disney um, when it released on the 18th of August. Um, the last couple of plushes to get online were not hard at all. I got August, October, November and December with absolutely no problem whatsoever. Um, yeah, so this guy came from Shop Disney. And this guy is another, I believe, eBay um, buy. It's an eBay buy from the UK, definitely. I remember this um, being from the UK. I think I spent like 30 euros plus shipping to Germany. Um, it's got a, like a bit of stuff on it here. I'm not really sure what it is, if it's like paint or God forbid food, I don't know. I, I got the, this like this from the seller, um, but I, I find bits of it every now and then. I mean, it's, it's coming off, but I don't know what it is. It doesn't bother me that much. It's at the back and it kind of blends in with the sprinkles um, on him. So yeah, this is uh, the last one in the collection that did not come from Shop Disney slash Disney store. October, Matrix Mickey, my birth month. I am born in October. And this is Matrix Mickey. He's kind of creepy, but kind of cool at the same time. Like, I love the Matrix effect. I hate the color of his face. Um, but it does match very nicely. But, yeah. This guy, again, just got him off Shop Disney on release on the 18th of October with the mug. This was not an issue to get at all. Mickey Memories November. Very, very subtle in the colors. Very chic, very... Toned down, but I do like it. Again, this guy just off Shop Disney when it released in November. No problems getting this guy at all. And the final plush I'm going to show you today is the December Mickey Memories, the future Mickey. I don't know how I feel about him, but he belongs to the collection. And honestly, the January and December mugs were also a thing in themselves. And why is your stuffing coming out. I think that was just one string. The last one in the collection again just bought off Shop Disney and yeah this guy was not hard to get although my god the anxiety attacks you would get trying to buy items on Shop Disney at nine o'clock when it released is mental. I still have that now. Hello there, Rebecca from the future here. Um, I am filming another video right now. I'm filming my Disney mug collection. Um, look out for that video real soon. Um, and I just realized that I didn't show you guys um, the quotes on the feet of the January and December plushes. So I'm gonna show you them now um, because obviously that's something that's very special about the plushes and I just completely forgot to show you them. I was showing the quotes on the mugs of January and December just now in the video and I was like, I didn't show these in my previous video. Um, so yeah, this is the January Mickey and this is the quote on the foot. So it just says like this and then the quote is on his right foot and it just says, I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing that it was all started by a mouse, a mouse, a mouse, um, quote by Walt Disney. And then the December one again on his right foot, the quote is here and it just says, it's kind of fun to do the impossible. Also for, quoted 
by Walt Disney. Yeah, I just thought I would pop in real quick and show you guys that because I do think it makes it, these plushes, the January and the December, just a little bit more special and I forgot to show them when I was originally filming this video. So yeah, back to past Rebecca to finish the video. With Mount Mickey behind me, I'm going to end this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and comment down below anything you'd like to know about the plushes or what kind of videos you would like to see on my channel. Um, obviously, I'm kind of starting again from scratch. I do have a couple ideas, like I said. I do want to film a mug collection and then also just some bits and bobs here and there. Um, I am going to Disneyland Paris for the first time next month, um, so maybe I will show you snippets out of that. And if I don't show you snippets from my trip, then I will 100% be giving you guys a haul. Um, so look forward to that already because I don't have enough money to spend in Disneyland Paris, but I do have money to spend in Disneyland Paris and I want to buy a load of stuff. But yeah, that will definitely most likely be a video coming to you guys. But yeah, comment down below what other kind of videos you'd like to see from my channel. Mostly, I'm going to see if it's going to be like stuck to Disney. But at the end of the day, anything that I find interesting, I think I'm just going to upload on here. And yeah, if I end up doing a couple movie reaction trailers again or... Who knows what at the end of the day. Mystery mini unboxings. Which I hope does not become a thing because that will actually make me broke and I will go into debt. Because I think mystery minis is like the one thing that I probably shouldn't do because, as I said, I like finishing a collection. And mystery minis, I will buy until I've got what I want. The amount of money I've thrown into a claw machine because I want the item, it's unbelievable. And I think that's exactly what would happen with mystery minis. But anyway, I'm going on a tangent. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what you saw and think you will like other content that I have made or will make, check out the other videos of my channel and please subscribe. If you want to see um, other content, like I post things every now and then on my Instagram, you can find me under xmikora. This. You can find me as xmikora on almost everything. Mikora is my, like, online persona. It's also a gaming channel. I have a gaming channel. I haven't uploaded on there recently, but I do have one if you want to check that out for whatever reason i'll guess i'll link that somewhere as well um but yeah enough rambling end the video i hope you've had a good morning afternoon evening night whenever you're watching this video and i'll see you guys next time bye